Welcome to the FX Masterclass, and my name is Ernest Rowe. Today's topic is to uh, power tune the FX Wildcat MK3. All right, let's get to it. First thing, let's get the reference point, what speed we got at this. When you get out of the box, take a reference point before we power tune it. All right, we got uh, 44 grain uh, JSBs on here. We'll see what the speed is. We got the power wheel on seven. We got rake pressure, whatever that is, 125 bar. Just to see what we got. All right, safety glasses. I got my target here about four feet away. I don't want to shot those. Nah, shot those going down anyway. anyway. <laughs> oh! 75. Uh, just shoot it till it settles. Yeah. Bench moving. All right, now we're going to increase the rake pressure 150. We don't want to go above 150. All right to uh, minimize wear and tear on your regular and the whole system. Don't go above 150. All right. To increase the rake pressure, you need to go counterclockwise. See the gauge here. Now right there. Now, we need to take the power wheel off and we need to pre preset the hammer spring adjuster in on a side here. And I'll show you what that looks like. Because when you are uh, doing your adjustment, you're always adjusting the screw and shooting it, adjusting the screw, adjusting it. So we're going to preset it so you don't have to do all that. So I can show you the limitation. Here's your hammer spring adjuster. You want to measure the length from here to the end of the screw. All right. Take a pre preset. Uh, you want to see the current height of it is. All right. That's 5.49. So if you want to go back at that speed right there, you'll screw that in, that height. Yeah, it takes several readings to be accurate at it. 5.33, we'll go 5.13. Now, you want to increase the height to six mil. Now, if you increase, if you make it longer, too long or like 6.50, you won't be, you can't cock the cock. I mean, you can't cock it because it's too far, too much uh, hammer spring preload and it's not gonna cock. So you wanna minimize that just going by six mil only. Yeah, back it out. Six point three six. 608, you don't have to be precise, but on or about, that's six mil, all right? All right, the reason you want to set longer, right? Because this guy's will sit on his power wheel. And his power wheel, you see the little indents right here? It's like a stair, uh, going down the stairs and going up the stairs. At the highest point, it'll add more compression to the spring. So that's why it needs to be longer. All right, we got the measurement right, and then we're gonna reassemble the power wheel. It only goes in one direction. This nut goes to this open end, like that. And since it's, this ball, you wanna keep it in place. You want a little silicone where it sits, right above the spring. Like that. 
I usually uh, align the adjust at six o'clock. Align the screw first and push it in. Then screw in the nut. Screw, I mean. Nug and cycle it. So if you have a indent on your ball bearing. All right. Now let's test out the speed at number one. Uh, verify going to hit our backstop. So you want to know your low, you just got to put in a, between 7 and 1 is adjust, that's your, your low. Mind you, this crony is set at high power, anything below 600 feet per second, it's not going to register. Alright, low mark is 622, now we'll see what power increase we got at number 1. We go power wheel number two. Six hundred ninety nine, seven hundred thirteen, seven hundred sixty one, seven hundred sixty three. We're going uh, number four. Eight hundred thirty three. Eight hundred thirty five. Number five. Eight hundred seventy two. Number six. Eight hundred eighty-eight. Eight hundred eighty-four. Number seven. Eight hundred ninety-five. Eight hundred eighty-eight. All right. We'll verify the rake pressure if it's settled, and it's settled at the uh, hundred forty. We need to raise it. We'll see if you got enough bottle pressure. Yeah. You're going to increase it till it gets 150. Hundred and fifty, let it shoot a couple, see if it settles stays at one one fifty. Okay, a little more. Now, since the velocity is starting to lower, we need to increase hammer spring on this. We got to put to adjust, back it out half a turn, put it back number seven. Okay, with the nine hundred seven nine hundred nineteen nine hundred sixteen. So it is a limitation. Uh, I like to demonstrate. If you do back it out too much, uh, I'll tell you what happened. Go we'll back another half a turn. All right. Six hundred forty-five. Well, you gotta put power wheel number seven. See, so it won't cock. And I want to double load it. See what I mean? If you back it out too much, the gun is not going to cock. So screw it in. Let's say a quarter turn. Try to cock it. Is engaged now. I think I have a pellet in there. Let's find out. I did. Yeah. We're number seven. Put the mag back in. Eight 
919. So this is your maximum speed for this rake pressure, 150 bars. Now, you want to lower a little bit, so save on shot count and uh, trying to get the gun a little quieter because it might be overpowering the valve for this rig. So I want to adjust the screw till I drop it around 5 or 10 feet per second. Put it back to adjust. We'll screw it in about maybe a quarter turn maybe. I just want an indication the velocity is going to drop. So, all right. Yep. Eight. We're going to put a seven again. 919. 914. 914. On our last mag. <laughs> Let's see. Nine hundred five. Nine hundred sixteen. Nine hundred sixteen. Just a little, little hair in. Nine hundred twenty three. Nine hundred. Now I think it's better here because uh, I have a lot of travel on my shear. Like it's engaging fully. Before it was like on a hair, on a shear. I got more travel to open the cocking lever all the way out here. Click, positive click. 912. 909. 912. All right. We got the maximum velocity for this rake pressure. Now it's just to uh, shoot it and shoot for groups like every 10 feet i mean uh 10 feet 20 feet per second make a group in each section there and see what's your tightest group all right this gun's ready to be put in a stock and accuracy tested this include the power tuning of the uh, fx wildcat mk3 if you got any questions or comment drop it down the bottom there and We'll see you next video.